Welcome back to the channel. Managing student loan repayments can be a significant aspect of post-graduation mm -hmm. financial planning. Here are some strategies and tips to help you navigate the process. Understand your loans. Know the types of loans you have. Federal, private, subsidized, unsubsidized. Be aware of interest rates and terms for each loan. Create a budget. Develop a comprehensive budget that includes all your monthly expenses. Allocate a specific amount for student loan payments in your budget. Explore repayment plans. Federal loans offer various repayment plans, including standard, extended, graduated, and income-driven repayment, IDR plans. IDR plans adjust your monthly payments based on your income and family size. Income-driven repayment, IDR. Plans, IDR plans such as income-based repayment, IBR, pay as you earn, pay, and revised pay as you earn, repay, can be beneficial for those with lower incomes. These plans may result in lower monthly payments, and any remaining balance may be forgiven after a certain number of qualifying payments. Loan Forgiveness Programs Public Service Loan Forgiveness, PSLF, is available for those working in qualifying public service jobs. Teacher Loan Forgiveness is designed for teachers working in low-income schools. Be aware of the requirements and conditions for loan forgiveness programs. Consolidation and Refinancing Loan consolidation combines multiple federal loans into a single loan with a fixed interest rate. Refinancing involves taking out a new loan with a private lender to replace existing loans. This can lead to a lower interest rate, but federal benefits may be forfeited. Prioritize high interest loans. If you have multiple loans, consider prioritizing the repayment of high interest loans to save money on interest payments over time. Make extra payments. Whenever possible, make extra payments to reduce the principal amount and save on interest. Automatic payments and interest rate reductions. Enroll in automatic payments to ensure on-time payments and, in some cases, receive interest rate reductions. Emergency fund. Build an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses so you're less likely to miss loan payments. Communicate with loan servicers. If you face financial difficulties, contact your loan servicer to discuss options like deferment, forbearance, or temporary reduced payments. Remember to stay informed about any changes in loan terms or government policies that may affect your repayment strategy. Consider seeking advice from financial advisors or student loan counselors to create a plan tailored to your specific situation. Student loans can have a significant impact on various aspects of people's lives. Here are several ways in which student loans can affect individuals. Financial stress. The burden of student loan debt can lead to financial stress and anxiety, impacting overall well-being. Monthly payments can be a substantial portion of a borrower's income, affecting their ability to meet other financial goals. Delayed financial milestones. High student loan payments may delay major life milestones, such as buying a home, starting a family, or saving for retirement. Career choices. Graduates with substantial student loan debt may feel compelled to prioritize higher paying jobs over positions they are more passionate about. Some individuals might delay entrepreneurship or pursuing advanced degrees due to existing student loan obligations. Credit score and financial future. Student loans impact credit scores and missed or late payments can have a negative effect. A lower credit score may make it harder to secure favorable interest rates on future loans, such as for a home or car. Impact on relationships. Couples may need to consider both partners' student loan debts when making financial decisions, potentially affecting joint goals and plans. Postponed retirement savings. Individuals with significant student loan debt may postpone contributing to retirement savings, potentially affecting their long-term financial security. Limited savings and emergency funds. High monthly loan payments may leave individuals with limited funds for savings and emergency expenses, making them more vulnerable to financial setbacks. Employment choices. Graduates may choose jobs based on salary rather than pursuing positions aligned with their passions or career goals to meet their financial obligations. Impact on mental health. The stress of managing student loan debt can contribute to mental health issues, including anxiety and depression. Difficulty qualifying for additional credit. High student loan debt can make it challenging to qualify for additional credit, such as credit cards or loans, which may be needed for emergencies or other purposes. Bankruptcy challenges. Student loans are generally not dischargeable in bankruptcy, making it difficult for individuals facing financial hardship to eliminate this debt through legal means. It's important for individuals with student loans to be proactive in managing their debt, 
exploring repayment options, and seeking support when needed. Additionally, policymakers and educators are increasingly focused on finding solutions to address the challenges associated with student loan debt at both individual and societal levels. However, I will answer the most asked question of, how can you have your student loan forgiven? But first I wanna say, hey awesome people, you've made it this far into the video. You're officially part of the exclusive Cool Club. Now to seal the deal and get your VIP pass for future content, just hit that subscribe button below. Trust me, it's like joining a secret society, but with more cash videos and life hacks. Don't miss out. Hit subscribe and let's keep this party going. So how can you have your student loan forgiven? Well, to be completely transparent with you, student loan forgiveness is not automatic and it typically requires meeting specific criteria and following certain processes. Here are some common ways to have your student loans forgiven. Public Service Loan Forgiveness, PSLF. The Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program is available to borrowers working in qualifying public service or nonprofit organizations. To qualify, you must make 120 qualifying monthly payments under a qualifying repayment plan while working full-time for a qualifying employer. Teacher Loan Forgiveness Teachers working in low-income schools may be eligible for teacher loan forgiveness. To qualify, teachers must teach full-time for five consecutive years and meet other specific requirements. Income-Driven Repayment, IDR Forgiveness Borrowers on Income-Driven Repayment, IDR Plans may be eligible for forgiveness after 20 or 25 years of qualifying payments. Any remaining balance after the qualifying period is forgiven, but it may be considered taxable income. Closed School Discharge If your school closes while you are enrolled, you may be eligible for a closed school discharge, which forgives the remaining balance of your direct loans. Total and Permanent Disability Discharge Borrowers who are totally and permanently disabled may qualify for a discharge of their federal student loans. Documentation of Disability through the Department of Veterans Affairs, the Social Security Administration, or a physician is usually required. Death Discharge Federal student loans are discharged in the event of the borrower's death. A death certificate must be provided to the loan servicer for the discharge to take effect. Discharge due to false certification. If your school falsely certified your eligibility to receive a loan, you may be eligible for loan discharge. This includes cases of identity theft, unauthorized signature, or if the school falsely certified your ability to benefit from the education. Discharge in bankruptcy. While rare, it is possible to have student loans discharged in bankruptcy, but the process is challenging and requires demonstrating undue hardship. Perkins Loan Cancellation Borrowers with federal Perkins loans may be eligible for cancellation of a portion of their loan for each year of qualifying service in specific professions. It's crucial to carefully review the eligibility requirements for each forgiveness program, as well as maintaining accurate records of employment and loan payments. Additionally, changes in legislation or policy may impact the availability and terms of loan forgiveness programs, so staying informed is essential. If you believe you may qualify for loan forgiveness, contact your loan servicer and explore the necessary steps to apply. Something you should know if you don't already. President Biden expressed support for providing $10,000 in student loan forgiveness for each borrower. This proposal was part of the broader COVID-19 relief efforts to ease the financial burden on borrowers. Biden's original plan for large-scale student loan forgiveness was undone by the Supreme Court. In that case, broad student loan cancellation was put on hold. The Supreme Court blocked President Joe Biden's student debt cancellation plan in June, saying his administration lacked authorization under the HEROES Act to forgive up to $20,000 in student debt per borrower. The average federal student loan debt is $37,338 per borrower. Private student loan debt averages $54,921 per borrower. The average student borrows over $30,000 to pursue a bachelor's degree. A total of 45.3 million borrowers have student loan debt. 92% of them have federal loan debt. It's important to note that these figures can change over time due to new loans being issued, repayments, and other factors. I recommend checking the latest data from authoritative sources such as the Federal Reserve, the U.S. Department of Education, or other relevant government agencies. They regularly release reports and updates on student loan debt statistics in the United States. Thanks for watching.